how to change navigation menu colors in WordPress. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be talking about how you're going to be able to change your menu colors in WordPress in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So without further ado, let's get straight into the workings of this. Now when it comes to changing the actual menu color, what uh, needs to happen is uh, there's three steps that could, you know, actually work through with this. So the navigation menu color can be changed through code. Okay, it can be changed through some external page builder or website editor, essentially. And then finally, it could be changed through, you know, WordPress's own settings. So we're going to be talking about all three of those ways. I'm going to be showing you all three of those ways. And trust me, it's going to be really fun. It's going to be really easy to work with. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end to get the whole gist of this with the whole detail. So yeah. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So to basically start things off, what we are going to be doing is, first of all, we're going to go ahead into our, you know, basic dashboard over here. And in the basic dashboard, there's a few things to, you know, keep in par for yourself. Now, obviously, when it comes to, uh, you could say, the basic navigation guide, the basic navigation has this separate, uh, you could say, a uh, viewing or visibility. So if I were to go ahead into my website, or, you know, essentially view my website, uh, I'm just going to open it up. There we go. So I'm going to click on visit site. And this is my website, you know, there's no header or anything like that. Uh, but if I go ahead and click on inspect element over here, is where I can access my actual header and you can access your header or you know your navigation menu by obviously finding your uh, code for your div class so around this is going to be you know your division for your navigation menu so you can obviously change the color through code now when it comes to changing the color through code that is obviously a bit tricky so you're going to need to find the, you know, divisional code. Once you found your divisional code, then you're going to start going into colors. Okay. And we're going to find in whichever section they've given you colors. In our case, we have color over here. You know, there's our head and, and there's other classes where you can obviously add your own colors as well. So pretty easy, pretty incredible stuff to get your head around. And uh, obviously you can mess around with the styling of it as well, but obviously it depends on however well you are working when it comes to coding. So that's one of the ways that you can actually change the color of the navigation menu, but obviously that's code and uh, not a lot of people, you know, enjoy working with code. Now, one other thing that you can do is basically like, let's say, I like some coloring scheme, right? So I'm going to come here and, uh, you know, you can go to any site which color scheme you like. So let's say I like some color scheme from Nike's website. I'm going to open up inspect element in Nike's website. Once you open up the inspect element, you're going to, you know, find the navigation bar for Nike. Let's say this is going to be their navigation bar. So you're going to come here. You're going to click on copy. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and copy the element. Now over here, you're going to cl click on edit page. Once you click on edit page, it's going to open up a few widgets for you with the editors on the left hand side with the workings in. And uh, that is exactly what we are going to get our head into. So once you're over here, we're going to click on this plus icon. So it gives us a whole thing on the left hand side. And once you do this, you can actually go ahead into your additional CSS to customize things for your page. And uh, obviously in the CSS, you can give your site an identity. You can give it a background image, menus, widgets, homepage settings, and a whole lot more. So in our case, uh, you know, you could either add tools through here. Okay. Or I'm going to come back over here. 
I'm going to click on view pages. And once you're in view pages, you could obviously add things through the plugin tools as well using the additional CSS. So again, when it comes to the overall working of your editorial things, uh, the CSS adder could be done through the main editor or you could do it through the plugins. If I go on plugins over here, I'm going to go ahead and just write CSS and you can see you can start adding different simple CSS into your uh, website. You can see simple custom CSS plugin again for the workings of your page. And uh, obviously, if you know how to work with CSS, trust me, I would 100% tell you to go with it because, you know, when it comes to working with CSS, it makes life much easier for you. And, uh, you know, because it gives you a variety of features, it gives you this whole world of features that you can add to your page. And it's just much easier and much, you know, better to work with. Now, basically, one more thing you can do is you can add an actual plugin. And this plugin is going to be a page editor. So in our case, you have definitely heard of this. It's called Elementor Website Builder. And in this Elementor Website Builder, you can style your navigation menu using the editor. Okay, and this editor basically allows you to add all the different types of designs to add. Okay, you can add any type of design with any type of styling as well, to be honest. And uh, you can add different additional CSS through Elementor as well. But Elementor doesn't allow you, like it allows you to add code, but you can also just do this through the normal drag and drop technique. Okay, you don't need to go ahead into code. So yeah, pretty simple and pretty easy to do all of this, uh, you know, by just one click on Elementor. So yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy stuff. And obviously, in the end, I would definitely prefer the users to go ahead and use the additional CSS option. But in the case you don't want to do that, it's totally fine. Because I understand a lot of people don't like working with code. Okay, so yeah, basically, that's about it. These are the different ways how you can, you know, add different attributes and things into your page. And, uh, you know, actually color your navigation menu. So that's essentially about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video all the way till the end, please make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making more for you. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.